All right, all right, going to learn something today. We're going to learn Chem 110B, sample final number 14. What is the hydroxide ion concentration and the H plus concentration in a solution that's made by mixing 65 milliliters of 0 0.300 molar HCl and 65 milliliters of 0 0.375 molar sodium hydroxide? Okay, the net ionic equation is this. All right, so your first deal is setting these up. I like drawing beakers. Hopefully you do too. You have to be organized. That's the key. Understand what you're calculating and where it goes. So they want to know what the hydroxide ion concentration is and the H plus concentration at the end for a solution made by mixing 65 milliliters of 0 0.300 molar HCl, which means that H plus is 0 0.300 molar in this beaker, and 65 milliliters of 0 0.375 molar in AOH, which means we're going to worry about the hydroxide ion concentration, 0.375 molar. Okay, we want to know what these are left at the end. It's a reaction, so that means ice table. Ice table, which means initial change end. Good. We're going to keep track of the H plus from this beaker and the OH minus from this beaker. That reaction turns it into water. And 65 plus 65 is 130 milliliters. Okay. Every time you have a concentration and a volume, you're going to calculate moles. We can do that twice to find the initial moles of H plus and the initial moles of hydroxide. All right, so let's see. Uh, 0 0.300 moles per 1 liter times 0 0.065 liters equals. So how much is that? What does that give you? This time we're going to round early, 0 0.020, and let's go ahead and round it. That's the moles of H plus initial. Good. So 0 0.020. 0 0.375 moles per liter times 0 0.065 liters. Two sig figs. Zero point zero two four four. Actually, it's zero two four three seven five. But again, to two sig figs, that's zero point zero two four moles, and that's the hydroxide initial. Okay, so zero point zero two four. All right, so. What's the reaction that goes on? Well, it's a one-to-one -one ratio, which means you're making unicycles, which means you know exactly how many moles reacts. It's the smaller number, which means H plus is our limiting reagent, and it all runs out. And when we do this calculation to get the moles of hydroxide left, at the end, 
and then divide by the total volume at the end. We say there's zero molar H plus. It's all used up. It's the limiting reagent. And this one only has one sig fig, guys, because be careful with your addition subtraction. So what is 0 0.004 divided by 0 0.13? It's the hydroxide ion concentration at the end, which is 0 0.03 molar, and that's only one sig fig, because that's only one sig fig after the addition and subtraction. Okay, that's it, guys. That's the right answer. If you want more practice, and I know you do, review your quiz eight. I know a whole bunch of people didn't do so well on these problems on Quiz 8. Looking back on them now, they're not so bad, huh? So get good at them so that you can go fast. That's from Chapter 9, Exercises 9E, 9F, 9G, and 9H. Especially uh, 9G and 9H. Okay, good luck.